life hustle till we can Gotta make a move, figure out the maze We can tell if you ain't us Now they wanna knock me, cause they seen I came up Wanna hustle up, I don't really fuck with ya Used to make moves, serving all these customers I got love for ya, I'm a cup for ya Please stay out my way, cause I'm about to double up It's God first in the fam, I sacrifice for it Loyalty to my blood what up, world? We are back. We are live. This is the Cloud Chronicles. I'm your host, Ja Blaze, Mr. Dope Soul himself. You know what I'm saying? The podcast, first sex symbol. Official comedian, too, man. Touched that stage last night, so it's on and popping, man. Big things coming. Uh, man, I got a super, 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 super dope episode coming, man. Uh, like I've been telling y'all, man, I had hitters all week. And my boy right here is finna, you know, he batting clean up. You know what I'm saying? That fist spot is always a slugger. You know what I'm saying? So if you're out there in Cali, you definitely know this brother, man. He is the VP of the Smoke Yours crew, man. Slink Johnson, uh, Teddy Ray, RIP, man. Everybody out there um, in the Smoke Yours crew, man. It's going to be dope, man. So bring it to the show for the first time, man. VP, Delore, James. Hold on. He's getting his stuff together. He's getting his stuff together right now. So while he gets that, man, look, we're going to pay a couple bills real quick. I'm going to let y'all hear from a show sponsor um, right now. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jerry and Blaze, host and creator of The Cloud Chronicles. I'm here to tell you about another great show that I follow, been following for about two years now, The DL Show, ran by Dan Levely. Hi, I'm Jerry and Blaze, host and creator of The Cloud Chronicles. I'm here to tell you about another great show that I follow, been following for about... Okay, so look like StreamYard is not acting uh, acting right, but oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> I made there it, he is. There he is. Hey, hey, I like what you got on, man. You got my, you got my team on now. Hey, you know, I say, you know what? What else do I represent more? Are the same on the same level as Smoke Yours Crew? You know okay, what I'm saying? I okay. said, you know what? Let me go on and just put the Cowboys on. Hey, man, we man, need the support. We need the support right now. That's what's up, man. Hey, uh, I was just introducing you, man. Like I said, this is the VP. Smoke yours crew, you know what I'm saying? Smoke and yours, Dallas, hey, you know what it is. You already know what it is. <laughs> hey, cowboy fan. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My, the homie uh Delore James in the building. Bah, 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 bah. What is it? <laughs> What's happening, baby? What's going on with it? Hey man, this is this is dope shit right here, bro. Um, like I was telling you on the phone, man. I've been I've been rocking with y'all, man, for a long time, man. Seeing all the content y'all done, man, all the old stuff on all deaf, you know. Um uh, right. You know, uh, you know, like I said earlier, man, RIP to the boy Teddy Ray, man. Yeah, man, um, that was my boy. Yeah, man, that was, that was a tough one right there, man. But y'all, y'all got a tight click, man. Y'all funny. Y'all representing that Cali, that bud. I like all of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. Uh, tell, tell, tell them uh, about the Smoke Yours crew, man. Tell them what y'all is, man. Okay, man. We do, okay, we are the rival. of. We have it's a few. It's a couple of rappers. We got a few. Uh, we got a few accountants we got actors we got uh writers um it's the core of us is basically just homies that uh come together and our mission is to smoke everybody up. and 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 the, and the past positive energy throughout the world you know what i'm saying but like i said my main focus is to smoke yours you know what i'm talking about because when i smoke yours i feel like i feel like for me to come at you and tell you to smoke yours a lot of people don't like that kind of, that's kind of aggressive, you know what I mean? Yeah. People are like, how you gonna tell me to smoke you? But then when you get that good energy from me, then you realize that it's not, I'm not being, you know, I'm not being mean or anything. I'm not trying to start them. I'm just trying yeah. to make that connection with you. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, feeling good energy from you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. I don't yeah, want to smoke with everybody. True. I don't want to smoke everybody with you. But that's if I do, true. You, you don't want to hear everybody like smoke yours. It's camaraderie right here. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to smoke everybody. Right, no, definitely not. Definitely. I like That's that, man. Y'all got uh some like um uh, like what um I'm I'm a part of, man, with Freeway Rick Ross, man. Shout out to Unk. The real Rick yeah, Ross. That's my rapper, boy. You know that's what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Freeway Records, man. We the official podcast for Freeway Records, man. It's it's a gr it's gang of niggas just like that, man. You got accountants, that's dope. That's motherfucking dope. businessman, rapper, yeah. see, see what I'm saying? Comedians, you know, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, we got to crack it, man. But we, we, the one, the main thing is, is the positive energy. That's the one thing. Like we, 
we just all positive. Like anything negative, we not with. Plain and simple. So that's that's, yeah. that's our whole core. You know, and I'm sure y'all are on that family. empowerment as far as you know. Like I'm not gonna give you some money, but I'm gonna show you how to make the bag. Oh, and we there get you the go. Money. There you, know you go. There you go. And that's this. We open doors for each other. You know what I mean? It's like I know a lot of people. They know Slink. Know a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, Natural Red. You know, Default. Postman, bad, uh, bad bitch. I gotta name all of them now because I just started naming. Yo, one thing went out. But they, they know I love them. You know what I'm saying? I love them. Shit. But yeah, but other than that, man, it's just it's, it's been going on for about seven years now. And um, yeah, me and Slink started this shit, man, and it ain't stopped. Yeah. Shit. Man, I want to say salute, man, to you and y'all, man, because. The, the Zoom stuff y'all did uh, during the pandemic, man, that's right when I, I jumped off my show. I had my right. idea about it, but that pandemic hit, and I was like, nigga, you, if you don't do it now, gotcha. you ain't going to do it. Right, right, right. I, that, and, and, you know, so here I am two years later, man, but I was watching all that shit, bro. That's all that shit, all that digital shit, bro. That's it. Right, right, That's right. it. That's all I was watching. So I, I, I still go back and rewatch the old stuff, man. You know, it's just, it's better than TV a lot of times, bro. It is. It is. TV ain't shit. You know what I mean? I like content, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I post people stuff on my page. If I see something funny, you know, <laughs> somebody in the world or, you know, my 8,000 followers or whatever deserve to see it. Yeah. So I'm, put, I'm putting it up. You know what I'm saying? That shit yeah. have me laughing. It keeps you smiling, though, man. Just got to yeah, be careful man. with the internet. Just got to be careful with the internet. You know, can't yeah. let it take over your life. That's all. So I do want to get into this, man. I'm glad you got that shirt on because I got somebody I can talk to about these boys, man. I want to know. I'm gonna tell you what I thought before the season before the season started. Where did you think they was gonna do? And then where you think they at now that Dak done got hurt? All right, I'm gonna put it like this, brother. You know, I've been a Cowboys fan all my life. I'm gonna give you a little history of my my fandom. My my dad from Dallas, so. And, you know, they ain't even in Dallas. But my, my dad from Dallas, and he cowboy to the heart. And that's what I was on in my life. So, boom. So, can't tell me shit about no cowboys. Let's get that out of the way. So, we always lose the first game. Yeah. We always lose the first game. Yeah. So, so I never let the first, even when people get hurt, in some way, some way we figure out a way to get our shit going. But then we fall off again. We do this every fucking year for the last yeah. since fucking since we won. You know, we do this every year. And it's like after a while, I feel like just because we had our dynasty in 90, you know, the 90 dynasty, whatever. Uh know. yeah, like 93 through 95. That was it. Yeah, we, we, hey we man, had that's our 2013 dynasty. though. That team right there with I mean, the yeah, they, but Woo! then you know we, we always figure out a way though. We always yeah, out we do, way. we do, we do. And it's like so the first game, all right, fine. I'll be like, all right, because if I get mad every first game, that means I'm mad every year. Yeah, know, but it's different now. So what you think? Because you know Dak out, Dak out. Okay, that's this, so, this, so this, it's got because I I'm gonna be honest with you real quick. My prediction, I didn't see them doing too much this year, bro, because they didn't do nothing in the off season. They gave right, away right. Amari for a pack of cools, or you know what I'm saying, a pack of backwards. Right. Didn't go. replace him. The bananas. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even replace him with nobody. You know, yeah. and I, I just I didn't I, I like the defense, but I was like, man, we ain't got enough on that on that offensive side. It's it's deep in the NFC. Yeah, that's just this is gonna be a hard row. I see us doing nine and seven. Right, you don't think they gonna go out game. Game? We got an extra game, right? Don't we got an extra game? Yeah, yeah. It's seventeen this year. Yeah, so we go, we go, we gonna do. I say we, we might do ten and seven. So yeah. you can quote me on that. One. I say ten and seven, but uh, we are gonna have opportunity to make it to the playoffs though, because yeah. this is yeah. this is the start of the season. You know how we yeah. we get down, bro. We get down, even with backups. We get down, Jack. So. Yeah, I always get out. That's why we America's team, baby. I ain't, you know, people, you're not people, tripping, huh? Yeah, then I got. I was there with the other rings and stuff. We got rings. We got a whole handful. Yeah, yeah. You feel, you feel I don't worry about these suckers. <laughs> these suckers out here, they've been crying way more than me because we. I, I was happy tonight. 
Yeah, so, man. I'm whatever. telling you, bro, because, hey, I remember after the 90s, man, I was sharing with a nigga when we had Quincy. You, you see what I'm saying? saying? Quincy yeah, Carter. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, Quincy Carter. Carter. Who was that white boy? Uh, Drew. Drew something. Yeah. Drew, Drew Henson on, or some now. shit. Come on, now. They went and oh, picked man. him up off the couch. You, you feel me? It came in and did his shit. <laughs> 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 he was oh, sitting on the couch. Hey man, you won't come in. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how they do it right now, man. They need to break. I don't know. They need, I think they might need to get somebody, man, just for a couple games. I don't know if if Cooper going. Uh, hey, I'm not a big Cooper I, Rush fan. But look, oh, look, defense can win games. Yeah, defense can win yeah. games. Yeah. I, I'm never gonna give up on the Cowboys. I'm just. It's, Nothing can get me mad. I didn't dealt with the Raider fans that hate us. They be giving you we shit out the there, don't we? ain't never did nothing to the Raiders. Why y'all so mad at us, man? We ain't did nothing to y'all. We ain't never stopped y'all from getting no rings or nothing, baby. You know? Hey, man. <laughs> we America's favorite team to hate, bro. Yeah, and the love, though. That's the crazy yeah. thing. We both. We got both titles. If you Google it, yeah, we got both. Yeah, titles. man, we gonna do all right. We gonna do all right. We gonna do all right. So what's what's up with the uh what's what what smoke yours got coming up down the pipe, man? Um, well, we got a little secret little. I guess it ain't secret. I'm talking about the shit, but we got a little thing going right now. A little movie. We messing with a guy. I guess I could tell you who it is. It oh, okay, okay, we will. Okay, we, we can't. With, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. messing with a. I don't know if you ever heard of Jay Horn. Uh, a, a, a creator named Jay Horn. He got, it's called Jay Horn Films. Um, he's on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Um, got he got a few movies that's on Tubi and you know different streaming okay. sites and stuff. So he uh, he's writing a movie. Um, he's writing a movie, and it's based off of characters from Smoke Whistler. Damn! I think hey. I too much. That's, well, that's what's up, man. <laughs> so you I know you up in that motherfucker. I know you up in that. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely up in that bitch. You feel me? Yeah, it's man. About, that's dope, bro. It's about five or six of us. Five or six of us that's in it. And um, it's funny, right? It's, it's a comic. Nah, I ain't going to give you that, man. Oh, you can't, can't even tell that. that? Okay, no, that's fine. I understand. Be, I understand. Be, that we got to talk really about it all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Yeah, man. I'm like, that's dope, man. So, so how'd you get into like the whole entertainment thing, man? And did you did you you have a family member? Did you just kind of grow? I mean, grew up Cali and all that man. around. It was sling, man. I can tell you the truth. It was sling. I mean, I've always been a funny nigga all my life. You know, yeah. I went through my years of uh, I didn't smile much. You know, I went through those years. You know, you know, bullets and bullets in the chest and all kind of shit. I went through them years. Oh, you, you was know? out there in the streets. Yeah, I was in the streets, Jack. You was so. in the street streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the streets. Right, street. he wasn't rapping about it. He was out there in the streets. Nah, yeah, I wasn't rapping about shit. Fuck rappers. <laughs> I wasn't rapping about nothing. Well, I was trying to wrap niggas up in plastic bags. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah, but, you did um, stand up too, huh, bro? I mean, man, I did a few things. I did hosting shows. I hosted a few comedy shows and stuff. And yeah. um, but I ain't never just had my own hour set or nothing. You know what I mean? I ain't never. You know, they try to get me prepared for it at this point. Um, I was hoping to be able to work with uh, with Donald, uh, with uh, David Arnold because he has a, he had rest in peace to David Arnold. He had a class which yeah. you could pay him, and he'd put you on. Um, he give you, the, you know, he show you how to be a comedian. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. So I was thinking about messing with him, but I didn't think he was gonna pass. You know, it was, it was just. You take things for granted, you know what I mean? You know, I didn't think Teddy would come on now. I'm old, I'm 40, I'm about to be 49 in a couple of days. You know, September 19th, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, happy birthday, happy G-Day, you know what I'm saying? Happy G-Day. 1973, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I ain't turning down nothing. You know what I'm saying? And you know we age like fine wine. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you see that little lady see it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? These are all mine. These are all mine, Jack. Yeah, nigga over here looking fatty. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but yeah, uh, Slink was the uh, was the main one. I had started a group on Facebook called uh, "Nigga Fuck You." Is it rap a, group? No, no, a group on Facebook, like a group, like a 
You know, like we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. in their bag on each other. Like there's like about twelve hundred of us in there. Just people from all around the United States. It's just like we yeah. friends of friends of friends of friends, friends, and we just bag on each other all in there. And we, it was just fun. Okay. <laughs> so Slick ended up getting pulled in by somebody into to the into the group, and we realized that. We knew each other already. He was like, D-Lord, you D-Lord, they used to tag and shit. I'm like, yeah, I used to ride on buses and shit. I used to tag. Like that shit you got in the background, I used to be a graffiti artist. Oh, so, so that's 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 you used to do that shit. Yeah, I, I was looking oh, past you a lot. Hey, man. I was looking hey, past you the whole time. Like, bro, I, know, I like, wanted to be one of you niggas so bad when I was yeah. a kid. You know, I'm an 80s baby. I'm an 80s yeah. baby. So I grew up watching Beach Street. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. Nigga, I want. I couldn't yeah. wait to put my name on some the shit. Beat, the, the, the throwing, the throwing the can at the bus driver and running from him and all that, getting chased and all that. That was me. That was my day. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So we realized, like, man, you, you wait. Who are you? He's like, yeah, I'm Xerox. I'm like, oh, like you, oh, damn, that's you. Okay, we all, we already know each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whoop. So then we start fucking around with each other and hanging out. We start hanging out. And um, shit, we ain't looked back since, man. We've been best friends since. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk. You know, I, you know, all the way from real shit, like real friends. You know what I mean? So how long? How long is the Smoke Yard crew? I mean, I know y'all been homies for forever, but how long is y'all the organization? Uh, been we've been the Smoke Yard crew for I, 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 2014. Okay. 2014. Um, uh, I'll give it 2014. We started saying Smoke Yards crew to each Smoke Yards to each other 2013. Um. Because what it was, and this is how I smoke yours evolved. Yeah, give it to give me the background. <laughs> so boom, you know, we, me and Slink, we, we'll call, we'll we we'll race each other, they'll try to beat each other in the morning and say, because if you got if I said to you smoke yours and you got me, if I if I beat you, you have to smoke yours. <laughs> Straight up. So first foot they wake up, we'll carry up and try to call each other in the morning, smoke yours. Gotcha. Yeah. You, and, you, and the rule was you couldn't lie. You couldn't say, I ain't got no weed. So we started doing that. And we was doing it and making each other laugh so much because we were too old for this shit. It's like, nigga, we got to get mature, man. What are we doing? We called each other early in the morning, like, smoke, trying to beat each other. And so it just started turning into, so then a couple of times we'd be broke. Neither one of us had nothing. So I call him, he, he'd be like, I ain't got nothing. I'd be like, shit, I ain't got nothing either. So then, boom, what we do, we call somebody else, smoke yours. So then we like, you know what, we're gonna start us a crew and get this shit going, yeah. whatever, whatever. So we start developing this shit off of that. And we start developing and we like, all right, well, we need a uh we need a symbol. So boom, I came up with this. I was like, this could be our symbol, straight up. Like, yeah, so yeah, the, the 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 uh the symbol, man. That shit dope, bro. I gotta get me a, you know I gotta get me a shirt, man. You I gotta we gotta talk oh, about yeah, that. I, um, I'm about to be back on that in a second too. I'm just waiting on some change, you know how that shit go. You know? Okay. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> so it just man, the shit just went crazy. Then it was crazy because a lot of opportunities was coming to us right when it started. So why when we started all this idea, then boom, we got Black Jesus. That's why he's president and I'm vice president because his his outreach was way further than right what I could right. at that point. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like a vice president like he's like, oh, I'm gonna bring you in as vice president, and this was agreed upon because of his out his reach. So boom, but now this is before I've even I'm even known. Like, you know, I'm known in LA already, just from the streets. But on the internet stuff, nobody knew I, you know, was, was capable yeah. of none of this shit. So then um Slink um hooked up with um, all death. And this is when all death had 375,000 right. followers, subscribers. This is way, this is when it started, you know, this is yeah. groundbreaking. So boom, he get in. He's like, all right, let me get in for about three, four weeks, and I'm gonna get you in. Boom. So he did exactly what he did. He said, "You gonna bring me?" Brought me in January seventh, two thousand fifteen, and I got in there. First thing I came in, um, first script I wrote, they bought it for me, and we shot it. So that just and this is you gotta remember, I never did none of this shit. I had never wrote scripts. I had watched some YouTube videos, me and went and got. Uh, the, um, you know the, 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 the you know the writing one for Apple, right? Um, final draft. I went and got final draft and figured the shit out. I wrote them a script. They bought me, paid paid me for it. it my first script I ever wrote. You know, I told That's them I, I walked in telling them I was a writer. 
Slink was telling him, I'm, this is my writer. You know, this Yeah, that's right. Hey, you got to put your boy on. Nigga, I wrote, I wrote the shit. They, um, they shot it, nigga. They shot it. I was in it. Me and Slink was in it. First one, that was the one uh, where we do the uh, tax shit, the janky tax man. It was Slink as the janky yeah. tax man. So we yeah. did that in 2015. I wrote that and, and started. That was my first time behind the camera, too. So that's it. Oh, nigga, when I seen that, I was like, oh, that's on. That went crazy. Yeah. I just started doing videos. I was doing videos at ADD, but it wasn't even for ADD. You know what I mean? I don't just there every day. Even if I yeah. wasn't on, on, on call sheet, that was the most beautiful place I ever been, like in the sense of uh, where you could just anybody can walk through that fucking door. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I like the open door policy that they had up there because they walking me in, and then I just, I just once I showed them that I can do shit, then I was good. You know what I mean? I, I like that. I like the comedy community, man. It's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Big you know? fan of uh, of uh, all deaf men. What they do, man. I'm, I'm glad too. y'all y'all keeping the Zoom stuff on. I'm glad y'all got the cannabis games, all that kind of stuff, man. Like, give, give people a little insight, just in case you know. Uh, I just want to put this out there so people yeah, go know. Ahead. Like they see me a lot of all that way when it started. Only reason why you don't see me on all that as much is because I got a motherfucking letter sent there by the sheriff about child support. And they was like, yeah, we're going to need to take some of his money away. Y'all paying him and he paying him. <laughs> But listen to my child support. My child support for the kids is all right here in this five bedroom yeah. house that I'm in right now. All the kids that's here, but it was because he was younger and my girl got on the county younger, whatever, whatever, whatever. So whatever. Don't have, don't think I'm a deadbeat father or nothing. Cause that's the lady. <laughs> and all that she's looking at me like, I'm gonna talk to you, D Boy. Took me to the back as a black lady, her name Kim. I love Kim, hey Kim. Whatever. Uh-oh. She's all deaf, financial lady. She took me to the back real black, like she did me like some auntie shit. Like, what is this shit? What is this? The sheriff just brought this. I'm like, oh, that's some bullshit. My kids are right here, right at my house right now. Boom, boom, boom. I never left them, never been away. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Boom, boom. She's like, well, I can put it off to the side and ignore it for a month or two, but then they're going to they gonna start inquiring, like, why we have to start taking money. Yeah. Like, All right, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But after that, it just was like, because I'm like a, like I'm a contracted worker. You know what I mean? I'm like a 1099 worker. It's not done yeah. too. W2. Yeah. That's crazy, but man. I just wanted to put that out there just so people if they be like, why well, you don't really be with all that no more? And like if nothing, nothing happened where maybe not. It was just the, financially. We just had to do things different. That's all. I mean, I heard the like you ain't the only person. There's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. That was there yeah, at the yeah. beginning. I remember, I watched. I saw I remember yeah, when okay, yeah, she ain't here tell. no more, she ain't here no more. They, and then when they would go start their own platforms, they would talk about it and they so I've heard I've heard several stories. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot. Boy. It was a lot of like every industry has uh, drama. Every industry has politics. Politics. There you go. Good word. There you go. So it's crazy, yeah. you know. Yeah, in everything, man. In everything. That's even even in uh, comedy. Everything. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of comedy. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, y'all niggas is funny, but y'all are some angry motherfuckers, Jack. Bro, <laughs> like, hey, hey, that, that click shit is real. Man, it's like I, I see man. funny niggas get up there killing it. And you know, it's it, but it's they boy, they don't want to laugh too hard because they homeboy coming up next. Right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, oh man, y'all, I'm like shit. I'm gonna laugh. This shit funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a lot of that I set together. I'm a killer. I'm a killer. Shit, you know, when I do get my set together and I get up there and do my hour show, I'm a killer. Shit, you know. Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all get get another. Uh, were you at the? Um, well, I'm sure you were. Um, I didn't know if you got to get on stage for at the uh, the thing y'all threw for Teddy Ray, the comedy special. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I was there, but I did with Teddy. I did with Teddy. What it did, nigga. I, I chilled with the fans, man. It was about. It was about. A hundred people outside, man. Even yeah. Miss Laura. Miss Laura was outside. I was inside the first. The Miss Laura, man. They wouldn't even hey, let her in at, at a certain I point. Got. At a certain point, smoke. they couldn't let her in. They wouldn't oh, let her smoke in. Oh, I got a um, yeah, they wouldn't let her in. What? It was crazy because look, because of it. Okay. When we got there, I got there early. I was actually down the street at my home with Rome house. So I was down the street. We walked to the motherfucker. 
So we walk there early. So we know he's going to end up being drunk or whatever. So we walk. Yeah. Boom. We get there early. I go in, got my seat, got my area, you know, plus I'm going to be in the back too. I can go in the back, whatever, whatever. But I went, I, I kept going outside, smoking, go outside, go outside, smoke, go outside, whatever, whatever. So this, the crowd was outside. That's where it was cracking. So I stayed out there. Everybody started rushing in. And they was like, oh, we got to sit down. There was so many people that wasn't going to get in. I, had, I, just, I just was like, I'm going to stay out here with y'all. So I just stayed man, out there with hey, Man of the people. Man of the people. Yeah, I love that shit. You know, I love I'm smoking everybody's shit. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm smoking everybody's shit. Like, yeah, what's happening? Hey, hold up. I'm kidding. So I, I'm, yeah. A lot of people <laughs> hadn't seen me. A lot of people hadn't seen me in a while. And we can't even do that inside, you know. Outside was the best place to, to to run into people and really get to talk to them and, and get to be yeah. like, you know, uh, I'm, sad, I'm sad about Teddy. Good to see you. I love you. Yeah. The hugs, the smoke, the weed together. That's the shit you really want to get when you got all these people together like that. You know what I mean? I had, heard, I had already heard enough from the comedians of the stories about Teddy and the, and the um, jokes. I wanted to camaraderie with people because I don't know if I'm gonna be here. So it's like I don't know if I'm gonna be here. I'd rather be outside with a hundred people than sitting inside with a hundred people I might not even see again standing outside. Yeah. I mean, you, know I mean? you gotta let people too, man. That's a good point. You just brought up something, man. You gotta let people grieve the way they want to grieve. Yeah. I yeah. mean, not everybody is a going to the funeral, seeing all these people cry. Like some people, I'm not a big funeral person, bro. Like I don't yeah. went to a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a preacher's kid. I've been to way more than I should probably. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm, just, I went to tell you funeral, but I didn't go in. I didn't go in. You know he what I'm saying? He was cremated, so he wasn't even in there. So, so you know, to me, it was just just being like I said, just being the camaraderie and be able to. Yeah. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Emo came out. Uncle Emo was old. Uncle Emo came out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like get to see these these OGs and get to see people. And let's get that, let's get that love in. Because you never know when you're gonna see the next person or if you're gonna ever see them again. Yeah, man. So, hey, hey, he's definitely one of my uh comedic inspirations, man. man. And 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 I swear to God, I was saying this shit for three, four years now. You and your bitch is a certified classic <laughs> by Teddy Ray. I don't care what nobody said. You and your oh, bitch. I was waking up every morning listening to that shit. I swear to God. When he first, when I saw that skip for the first time, bro. Oh I me, mean, I me, mean, I mean, Teddy, yeah. Teddy was a fucking master. Yeah, at, at being Teddy, and that's like, damn, nigga, how'd you master? How'd you master it? And it's just so dope. It's like, nigga, he really don't try. He don't try at all. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He just was like, fucking gifted and fuck. It was like, nigga. Just, yeah, he was effortlessly funny, bro. Effortless. Yeah, there you go. Effort. No effort at all, bro. Just, yeah, yeah, right. He really was. He really was. You could tell he didn't have to like turn on no mode. He was just Teddy when he got up there. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? He's little dogs, boy. Little house dogs. They just be thinking they running shit. Yeah, yeah. They can just come trotting in here like, get your nails cut. Over here. <laughs> that's what's up man but listen man i don't want to hold you too much longer man i appreciate you sitting down i definitely i want you to come back man we do another part and oh, yeah, just chop, yeah. it, chop it up some more man this this is this is dope bro I, I appreciate you sitting down with me um can you tell the people where to find you um if you got any shout outs you want to give plugs and plug the merch all that smoke yours man go ahead do your thing okay first of all you can get merch at smokeyourscrew.com Let's get that out the way. Smokeyourcrew.com. Go down there. Uh, uh, hit me up. If you want to hit me up, DM me at Delore James on all platforms. You want to hit me up, and I might be able to get you kind of a discount or something. You know, get my, I can give me a code again and then give it to y'all or something. But we need to get out, get some of this merch off. Smokeyourcrew.com. And then um, I want to shout out the whole crew. Tell the crew I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? And stay strong. Teddy Ray, rest in peace. You feel me? But like I said before, all platforms, the Lord James. I ain't changed nothing. Twitter, all that shit is the Lord James. Even on Snapchat, all that. You feel me? I got I got Bimo and I got Cash App too. So you see the Cash App right there. You see it. 
You see, my birthday is my birthday is Monday, so you know what I'm saying. Take care, okay. nigga. I love Tercet, Remy, Remy Martin Tercet. That's my favorite drink. You feel me? Um, I take just uh, cash donations to the uh, Smoke Yours Fund, mm-hmm. and uh, I will spend that money on buying some weed, and you can go with me. Matter of fact, I'll take a camera crew with me and go spend your money, so I could be really smoking yours. There we go. There you go. Oh, hey, so you yeah, um. I'm in a movie and shit. Um, I'm in a movie called Domino. It's on, I saw um, your ass in that shit, man. Yeah, I'm in a movie called Domino. I'm in a movie called funny. Perfectly Perfectly Single. That's on BET Plus right now. I'm in a movie called uh, Damn, what's the name of it? Oh, Seventh and Westlake. That's on Prime right now, I believe. Prime or Pluto? No, not Pluto, but Tubi or something. Boy, Prime got credits. Oh yeah, I mean I've been I've been blessed, man. But um, well, I got credit. Like that's what's like up. Said, that's what's I'm kind of broke for my birthday, so like I said, uh, you see the Lord J's five one five one right there. So be <laughs> Y'all, see Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Happy early Good birthday, day, man. man! For real. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Hey man, make sure y'all like, share, uh, subscribe, all that stuff. You know how to do it, man. Hit the like. Don't follow me on Instagram. I'm just trying to get the ten thousand. That's right. I'm just trying to get the ten thousand. You know. Yeah, man. We 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 gonna get you there, man. Follow him. Follow him. Run it up. Run it up. There we go. Hey, uh, end of the episode, man. I always like to say, mental health is real. You take care of this, it'll take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Drink some water, meditate, tell somebody you love, man. Live each day like it's your last, man. R.I.P. Teddy Ray. Smoke yours, crew, right here. Job Blaze, Cloud Chronicles. We out. You know what? StreamYard been tripping. So I'm just going to have to cut it. I don't know what's going on with StreamYard, but I'm going to have to cut it. We'll see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, stupid.